flowers. They resemble flowers, which where they get the name sea lily, but they're actually animals uh, related to starfish and sea stars. And when they were alive, they looked like this, but upon death, their bodies would disarticulate, fall to pieces, and all these little tiny hard plates, which look like beads, will cover and smother rocks. There are entire rock layers in the Cincinnati uh, series of crinoid body parts, where the rock is just smothered with uh, crinoid stem pieces, or called ossicles. Okay, I am on a cliffside behind uh, some of these stores, and there are literally millions of body parts of crinoids in these layers. I'm going to show you a sampling of what this looks like. People have never visited our area. Why well, Cincinnati is world famous for its fossils. These are all crinoid parts, stem pieces. Every little rock is just full of them. Here's my thumb for scale. They're very, very small as you can see. During the Ordovician, these are these uh, most of these stems are about the thickness of a pencil lead, maybe an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch across. And literally millions upon millions of their broken body parts. The little stem pieces. This happens to be the part of a cephalopod sticking out there, above my finger, right there, surrounded by all the crinoid stem pieces. Some of these um, stem pieces are distinctive, like tree, tree leaves. You can identify the species by the uh, shape shape of the uh, design on the inside of the stem, the disc. These pieces are great giveaways for kids because they are uh, they're so neat, they're detailed. School kids love to get little pieces of fossils. Okay, do you see this, the one right in the center, that has a star-like pattern. Some species can be identified by the patterns that they have. Each one of these rocks has several hundred per rock. That's just on the surface. found a cephalopod while I was at it. Fragment of a cephalopod shell, squid-like animal. There's a calyx in the down position. Look at the top of the rock, how many stems are sticking out of this rock. So this was extremely rich uh, concentration of, of uh, crinoids. In fact, that's a calyx right there. The very 
that dome is the, uh, the calyx it's going into the matrix. You can see why it gets the name log jam. It looks looks like that on a much smaller scale. <laughs>